In terms of the, the framing of college football right now, it seems to be all about Alabama and Clemson. Uh, after that, do you think Georgia is in that next group with Penn State and Oklahoma? It sure seems that way. It only gets greater because of the attention surrounding the team. We have no choice but to talk the Georgia dogs up because, my goodness, have they been playing some football or what? I've got a feeling this Georgia team is pretty good. We've accomplished a little, but not as much as we would like. I'm most surprised by Georgia. Georgia came in committed to making that game look exactly how it looked. In the scores, they, they've been okay, but not how we wanted them to be. I mean, if we can execute everything that we've been practicing and what Coach has been telling us, it, it'll be a lot better. You look at the defense, Spears. Yeah. I mean, they're an attacking style defense. Third in total defense in the country. And a defense that's just so compelling to watch. It's a 100-yard sprint, and we're at 40 yards. Who cares? They don't ever talk about who won the first 50 meters of the 100-meter race. I mean, I've never heard anybody talk about it. I don't, they don't care. So a lot of football to play, and we're focused on Bandy. Let's do it. We're going to attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. Sample standing for the first game. Try to play at the Notre Dame. Dog Nation got the crowd going, playing Tennessee for the fifth game. We're going to attack the day. Between the hedges where we play. They, they, they about to come to the state, but Mississippi sitting right in our way. They got the rankings in order. Jacksonville, Georgia, Florida. Then we go back to the state. Drive two hours away. All the Tigers who we play, then we go back to the old fashioned hate. Georgia Tech is who we play, then we go back to the old Georgia way. We gonna attack the day. Kirby Smart All Access. <laughs> Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future, own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. Dormady, the quarterback, will lob it from the pocket, deep far sideline, and pass. Oh, we caught it on the tip. We intercepted it on the tip. Far sideline returning it down to the 30, down to the 25-yard line. That might be J.R. Reed, I think. Is it Reed? Yeah, he caught it on the tip. And another Tennessee turnover. J.R. Reed was no stranger to football growing up. Uh, I grew up, my dad played 12 years in the NFL, Jake Reed, wide receiver for the Vikings, two years with the Saints. Uh, he was a coach, he coached me all the way through high school, so he's really hard on me throughout when I was little. So when I came up here and Coach Smart was hard on me, it was nothing new, I could take the coach and it was really easy transition. Really good player, tough, hard-nosed player, um, understands the game of football and is very passionate about the game of football. That passion started at a very early age. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I always understood the game. I always enjoyed the game, and I always knew this is something I wanted to do. Um, great bloodlines, and I've um, been a great benefit for our defense. I was there at his games. I remember times being in the locker room, being in the film room, watching a uh, film with those guys, Chris Carter, Randy Moss, being around those guys, and really just seeing how they operate. I was young at the time, but still you remember bits and pieces. But those bits and pieces were enough to help shape Reed into the player he is today. Well, J.R. Reed's one of my favorites. He is a really hard worker, um, kind of under-recruited, had a high school knee injury, didn't get the recruitment he probably deserved, having been injured. Uh, Tulsa did a great job to get him there, and um, he decided he wanted to come play with um, his cousin, you know, D'Angelo. And once he decided that, it was a big factor for us. I mean, well, I'm extremely happy with my decision being there at Georgia and Athens. I really just came in and worked hard, and now I have the starting position, and I'm just working hard to keep that and keep working hard with my teammates. Uh, scout team, I had to go out there and treat every day like it was a game day since I was not playing on Saturdays. And during that time, I learned some of the defense that we are running now. And I just used that time to really see how players that are stars now and that were stars before really operated. And I used that time to help groom myself and become the player that I am now. While his hard work has contributed to that, 
he credits the coaching staff. Build, I make better decisions. And I just say the coaches have done a great job developing me as a player. Through it all, his parents have always been by his side. My parents come to every game, home or away. They come to every game. They enjoy coming to every game. I enjoy seeing them after games. It's just something they do. So now it's like a full family experience. After a long and successful career in the NFL, JR's father is enjoying another aspect of the game. It's really special. It's, a, it's like a very good moment seeing him from the player now to a fan. And so he doesn't have to really worry about, hey, that's Jake Reed. Now he's JR's dad, and he likes to really get into the games, bark and yell, and really calls me. He acts like a true fan. So it's really nice seeing him and just seeing me and him grow together throughout everything that we've been through. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Hyundai, proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. Um, well, I think any chance you get to go to Nashville and play Vandy, I know they got a great program. Derek does a really good job with his team. You know, he did a tremendous job last year against us from a special team standpoint, really dominated and controlled the game up front with our defensive line. So uh, we got a lot of challenges ahead of us in regards to uh, preparing for um, Vandy and you know, wanting to keep the team's mentality of getting better and improving each week. So that's the challenge we're presented with now. It only gets greater because of the attention surrounding the team, but for us it's really about getting better and focusing on the next opponent, and that's where we're at. Kirby, I know this is no surprise. You'll get asked this one, but will Jake start Saturday, and how will you kind of handle that moving forward? Will it be evaluations in practice, all games? How will that kind of work? Yeah, it'll be just like last week. It'll be evaluated in practice, and uh, I do think that uh, Jacob is much closer to 100%. Obviously, last week he didn't get cleared until somewhere around midweek, so um, for him, uh, it was important to knock the rust off. He felt like he did that in that game, got to go out there, and um, he'll compete this week, and we'll do it like we do every position. Kirby, you mentioned the attention in your opening statement. What are the specific things you do as a coach to keep your players from buying into the hype? Well, we practice. And when we practice, we practice hard and, and we show kids the tape. We're very honest with them. I think when you watch the tape, everybody can get humbled by the tape. You know, we, we got beat. Uh, we got beat up at positions. We, we, got, we got blocked at positions. So Monday is all we're worried about, and we're really focused on, we call Monday Block Protection Monday, because we go out and really work on blocking people on offense or protecting blocks on defense, and that's one of the number one things we can get better at. And if you get better at that, it doesn't matter what you call a lot of times. You just get better at the fundamentals, and, and we try to humble the guys by showing them the honest truth. I'm, is it on now? It's on now. Yeah. This used to be your ringtone, folks. No, nah, man. We didn't even have cell phones when this was when this was out. Everybody had pages. Coach Tucker, he's a players coach. You know, he coached 10 years in the NFL, so he knows how to reach his players. I'm about to learn how to rap the uh, defenses to you guys so you can learn them. You guys know all the lyrics of the rap music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start rapping the installs. I gotta find a way to capture those guys' minds, man. Ghostface Killer. They weren't even born when those guys were rapping. You know, he's not a one-way street guy. He knows how to some players, how to get a reaction out of them, how to play. So, by him being a players' coach, he's really coached me up. He's really pushed me to be the best I can be. Hey, square. There you go. Oh, oh. So I'm gonna move Jay on the corner. Put a little something on the ball, man. There you go. Right there, come back with him. Swat hook. Good. Next guy. Hurry up. Check one, Rich. Back up, guys. Get that ball out. Stay up, stay up. I want you to go throw at the guy. Make him better. Open up the gate. You look a little bit better today, Tyreek. You might be able to help us this week. Tyreek, you got you to gotta show you can help us this week, man. Don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. You know I'm an alpha dog. That's right. That's right. I know you're alpha dog. Exxon! Pull! Back up! Back up! Back up! You get your eyes checked yet? 
<laughs> you gotta get your eyes checked, man. No, 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 no. You need, I think you need Rex specs. Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hit it! Knock it back! Hey, I like it. You guys okay? You want to turn this into the JRE show? Okay. Hey guys, I liked the interview yesterday. We just need more attention to detail. You guys with me? Okay. More eye discipline, more technique, more finish. Come on, when you don't have that in the secondary, you give up big plays. Okay, right there, play hard into it and knock it back. Right here, just stay right here. Okay, just stay right there. Such a wonderful day. We have a great quarterback. Pro style quarterback, probably the best quarterback I've seen on film so far, and they have a great running back. They're a very, very good football team. They have improved tremendously from the past couple of weeks, but their running game is is really like they're not a zone team. They are more downhill power team, so double teams and all that. So you just got to really got to stand your gap. Tuesdays and Wednesday practice are really our physical practice. So we come out every every week on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's kind of like. We, the way we practice is kind of harder than the game, so I feel like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are a big step in being more physical. Those are physical days. Keys to the game is play fast, physical, get to the ball, stop the run, and really just have a good time out there and have fun. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by AT&T. Georgia won its fifth straight game last Saturday with a 41-0 smashing of Tennessee. The Dogs are now 2-0 in the SEC and have cracked the top five this week in the national rankings. 5-0 in fifth-ranked Georgia will make a return trip to the state of Tennessee this weekend to face the Vanderbilt Commodores. First, all starts with communication. Communication all the time, talking to the guy next to you. And we've talked all week about the strain at the end of the play. The finish of the play has got to be our time. It's got to be our time to show everybody who we are. Continue and develop in your identity of discipline and toughness, man. Discipline and toughness. And never look back, guys. Never look back for 60 minutes. Expect it to be that way. Cherish those moments when you get to play for four quarters and get it on. This is a simple game, man. It's a simple game. Now it's about striking people flat back hat speed. Put your hat and your face mask down the middle of the man across from you. You break their will by how you play. Toughness, discipline, you earn it. You take it from them. You take it from them for four quarters and we don't quit. Make them go the hard way, that's it. Make them go the hard way. There's Blankenship approaching, and he'll put his right foot into it. Shreds a tackle at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown for Nick Chubb, and the dogs are on the board first. It was three plays in a row, exactly the same play. Cheney saw a weakness, kept attacking it. He stretched it out all the way to the sideline, Dominic Sanders. Roquan Smith with the hit. Breaks the tackle, kicks out to the right, to the 25, to the 20. Swift in the ball game in the backfield. Fromm will throw it to Swift. Open at the two, and he reaches and gets the ball inside the byline. Touchdown, DeAndre Swift, the freshman, on the throw from Jake Fromm. Caught it at the two and dove for the pylon and got the ball just inside for the score. They won't get anything on this carry as Jawan Taylor, the junior linebacker, splits the gap. Georgia leading 14 to nothing. Shotgun snap to Fromm. He sets up on the 22, throws it cross field, breaks the tackle 45, first down at the 50. He'll keep it. Run to the near side, 30, 25, 20, near sideline. 
Chubb has it. Big hole. Easy into the end zone. Touchdown for Nick Chubb. Huge hole. Could have driven a truck through that hole, and then it was just a waltz into the end zone. Georgia will have a locker room lead by a score of 21 to 7. Fromm sets up and throws deep. He's got Godwin. Touchdown in stride as he crosses the goal line. Put it right on his hip. What a throw and a great catch. Godwin and the dogs are in the end zone with six more. Here's Sony for another try. Straight up the gut. Breaks a tackle. 40, 35, 30. Get to the house. 20, 15, 10. Sideline. Pylon. Touchdown. Number one, Sony Michelle. Gonna keep it. He's got room. 35, 30, 29. Breaks a tackle. 25, 22. Here's Holyfield. He's gonna take it the final 15 yards. Big hole and a sprint into the end zone. Elijah Holyfield with his first touchdown as a Bulldog. And Georgia attacks on six more. It's 44 to 7. Holyfield straight up the middle, and the dogs go over 400 yards rushing. And the clock ticks down to zero, and Georgia now 6-0 on the season, and 3-0 in the SEC, wins this one by a score of 45-14. to Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future. Own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. Guys, great energy, and guys, I'm proud of you because, you know, sometimes you have these kind of games where everybody expects you to come out flat. It's early. I mean, y'all came out with the wood. I mean, y'all came out bringing the wood, and that's an identity, right? Let's go to work this week, and let's be the only team in the country this week, the only team in the country that don't listen to what they say about you, and you just go to work because if we keep getting better, we got better this week. We got better this week, especially on the offensive side of the ball. We got to keep doing that, okay? Everybody with us. We're fighting this thing together. We love each other. We're all together. Family on three, family on three. One, two, three, family. Yeah, we're here with Coach Smart. And, uh, uh, Coach, congratulations on the win. 6-0 and now for this team. But, uh, but this is one of those games where, you know, physicality won it, and, and your offensive line showed that right from the get-go. You said that right, Chuck. Physicality on the front. I was really proud of the offensive line to come out today. They had a little chip on their shoulder from last year because – didn't feel like they played our best game against that team. Now, obviously, they don't have some of the same guys back, but they got some of them that were same D linemen. And we think our old line played physical, backs ran hard, and Jim called a good game. And uh, the offense did a nice job today. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, like, it's always bad. You know, when you give up big plays or anything like that, a team, like, get points on you and whatnot. So we just have to, gonna have to go in and make corrections and fix those things up. Oh, it was amazing. I dreamed for that play my whole life to make a big, a, a big play in a, a big game. What's special is that we have such a high expectation and it's it, it just like we as a whole hold everybody to a high expectation, just flying around hitting. That's what we do is fly around and hit. Talk a little bit about those running backs because uh, once again, Nick Chubb goes over 100 uh, and then how about Sony Michelle? I think 150 yards on 12 carries. Tell you what, boy, Sony and Nick both are a dynamic duo. What a blessing to have them back. They run a great pad level. They're tough kids. The proudest thing I am of them, they protected the ball. You know, there until the end when Holyfield let it come out, they really protected the ball. Yeah, it's very fun. You know, it's um, <clears throat> everyone's in having great success. It starts with the old line. Those guys did a great job up front pushing and opening up big holes for us. And, you know, we have a, a lot of great running backs here. We all hit the hole and you know, just doing what we do after that. Ultimately, we came out here. I think the team overall played well together. They stuck together, and we got that W, and that's our ultimate goal is to come out here and win football games. I think the offensive line, the receivers played a physical game. Those guys went out there and blocked. 
their tails off. Um, you know, the running backs, they did a good job of running the ball. Uh, we put, a, uh, I think, a couple balls on the ground, so that's some things we got to work on. But um, ultimately, you know, I feel like we had success on the offense, but used to, we still have more room to improve. 125 yards rushing for the dogs so far. Here's Sony for another try. Straight up the gut. Breaks a tackle. 40, 35, 30. Get to the house. 20, 15, 10. Sideline. Pylon. Touchdown. Number one, Sony Michelle.